What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a one game where you're this player going around trying to not be getting by or enemies. And that's going to be easy. First things first, we want to delete the cat sprite, create a new sprite, a paint a new sprite, and then we want to zoom in, and then we want to hold down shift and create a cube. If you don't know what it will do, it will just do so that the cube will be perfect. <laughs> so that's one trick you can use when you're making perfect cube. And then you want to take the, the curve tool and then you want to create a dot in that middle where this, the middle. Um, so there's six blocks and then there's a line in the middle of each. It's dividing them by three. So, and then you want to delete the two that's at the side. If you want to select them to the same time, hold on shift and delete them. And there we go. And then you want to cre create one dot right here in the middle again. And, and then you want to take it here. And then you want to take one more here. We can so point. We can create this thing that kind of looks pretty cool. Now we have our main player. You can create something else, but I like the small little kind of rocket thing. So it's like a small little rocket flying in space. And maybe I'm gonna create. One thing that does so it can get particles out of it. So we have actually we can actually say when green flag clicked forever. So, uh, we actually want to set set size to one fifty, and then we want to say if key. Or actually, we'll duplicate the if statement, and then we want to say key person and duplicate it, and then say left and right, and then we actually want to create a block, call it move met met movement. So create an input called. Uh, hold on, shift and click R, and then we'll have one for the left. We're gonna edit it after some time. Then we have pretty much the this thing that is gonna c control our movements. So we're gonna say, um, uh, actually, we don't need this input. Uh, do we? Okay, no, we actually want to edit it, and then we actually don't need the. We're gonna create a block for the right, and then we're gonna create one for the left. Um, we're gonna create an input. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oops, I actually have to say. Actually, we don't. Okay. Edit it again and it actually add a label. Delete it. Check a look. Delete that thing and write the label. Move. Move. Mets. Hold on, shift then. L. Hit OK, and then we have the two blocks. Say, so, say, so, actually, it's hard to see which one it is. So we're gonna click Edit, and here we want to say colon R. Um, Shift R colon R colon. Okay, okay. 
and right click edit L colon there we go then we want to go ahead and code it so we're going to create set them set up each other so so and then say movements are we're going to set it to um maybe two for now and then we will create some, something we can adjust it whenever we want so we can set that to two again negative two or actually just two then we want to say go up to motion say in right we want to say set turn Turn our direct the degrees. That sounds weird, but it's gonna work. So do the same thing for the left, but make sure it's the other side. And there we go. We should have our moving script. It's not the smoothest, but that's gonna do it. Then we can say make a new. Then we're gonna go into my blocks, create a new block, call it move immense. Then say uh, um, colon. I mean shift colon y colon. There we go. Then we want to click input, we call it Y. Y. Here we go. Then we want to check it here, and then you gotta say move forward off L. Duplicate the script, then right click. Uh, oops. Take this away, we don't need that. Um, move action by two. There we go. Now we should. That's weird. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I actually want to say up arrow. So now we click on the red flag again. We should. I have a script that's making to the like character to go backward, but then we want to say negative two. That should help creating the movement script. Now we have the movement script, and in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add the enemies. So maybe you will see some new things like a background and a better player's character. You can't, it's, it's optional, you can create the character differently. Just for the sake of the tutorial, I made it weird, so, yeah. So, see you guys in the next tutorial, bye.